all the smoke all come out. Alright, the next one is actually one of my, uh, I can say favorite ones. Uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't tested this one out yet because it's kind of annoying to make. So I don't, I really want to, when I test it out, I really just want to test it out when I need to use it. Uh, hopefully it works. I made sure that the smoke could come out of this ball. Uh, all it is is your ping pong ball. You take it hole you don't make any holes in it no nothing stick it your cup your ping pong ball complete and you just wrap it around in foil paper just just literally scrum like just put it inside of foil paper and wrap it around then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, one straw cut it in half and take one of those two halves uh, actually I can show you this uh, how to make the straws because it's like I'm only taking that straw just give me a second all right so uh, this is how you, this is how you do the straw. I want to show you it because uh, well I don't have to take my ball apart by showing you the straw. It's a bit complicated. Uh, you you have a lot of patience for this one, but it's gonna hopefully it's gonna work. I make sure that the smoke can come out of the straw properly. So I'll show you how to do it here. All right. So first of all, you're gonna start off by just cutting your straw in half. Then what you're gonna do. It, to just to help you out, you don't have to do this, but I do. All you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze on the straw to make it flat, and then you take your scissors and you're gonna cut just a little bit of a, like a how can I say? Cut? You're gonna make a little cut. Make sure you don't go all the way through, though, okay? Just like okay. Then while doing that, you should be able to bend your straw open like I so like that. You take your pair of scissors and you're gonna put your scissor inside one of the two straws and make just another little hole, very little alright then same thing on this side on both straws here, well, both sides of the straw alright and then just all you're going to do is make sure you don't cut through the straw you're just going to cut just like a little area here off the tip so make sure you don't cut, like you don't cut through the straw just Okay, and okay. Uh, I don't really know if you can see that properly, but right here, of course, you have the hole. And then I cut my little line here, and by cutting off the side, it makes it just kind of like. No, it's hard to see. My camera kind of sucks. It's anyways, just like a little bit of a hole there, and I cut the side off. Which just helps it to uh, for the smoke to get in. That all the way. And what you're gonna do is with your scissors, scissors. Uh, I'm not gonna do it now, but you just all you gotta do is you gotta poke a hole, poke a hole into your your ping pong ball, and poke a hole on the opposite side. Try to make it as straight as possible. So poke a hole here where the straw is, and poke a hole here where the other straw is. Then you're gonna take your straw, you're gonna pass it through the first hole and get, pass it out the second hole so it's gonna look like this right here and I cut the thing here in the middle where I cut it like that is because uh, when I first did it when I first did it my problem was that I cut I just put the straw just I didn't cut anything I just put the straw right through and I realized that no smoke is able to get in so by doing this the smoke has a, has a way to get out and it's gonna, it's gonna force it out to come out through the sides you're gonna do the same thing with Sorry about the video stopping so early there guys, uh, my battery is dead on my camera, I'm sorry. Anyway, so yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to get a second shot, you're going to do this exact same thing as you did with the first shot here that, that I cut open. And you're going to pass it through the opposite side of the ball. And uh, when you're done that, it's going to look like this, just without the green stuff, that's what it's going to look like. Uh, the green stuff is just tape that I used, this tape right here, some tape. Uh, for that, what I did to kind of save some tape and make it a bit easier is you pull a little piece out, pull a little piece out like that. Okay. Oh, I Sorry, that piece was bad. It bent. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again. Oh my God! I can't pull tape out now. That's nice. Anyways. What you're gonna do is when you take the piece out, you're gonna cut that piece of tape. 
just right down the middle. Okay. I'm not gonna do it because I just did it with my hands. Uh, and so this is gonna be the one half. The other half is missing because I just ripped off my hand. And what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna start it. Make sure that you don't cover the straw, but make sure that you start pretty high. See, I'm gonna start. Want to start really high, and then just wrap around the straw oh and overlap the other piece, of, like the other side of the tape. Just overlap it and make sure that it's nice and tight. Squeeze it down, and you're gonna do that for each of the four straws. Just make sure when you put the tape on that you don't cover your ball because you always want to leave a bit of a space for the, the paper for the aluminum. Because uh, when you're gonna do when you're gonna light it, you don't want this. You're not gonna light. You're not gonna burn your tape. So just light it in the blank area, which is then gonna make the smoke come out of all the four sides of the straw. Uh, if you guys want to test it out, test it out. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, because it's actually pretty cool and I'll try it out someday and if I do I'll uh, make a video of it so hopefully if you guys do try it out please comment on me or send me an email I don't know what just uh, comment on my video hopefully and tell me if you, if you tried it out if it worked or if it didn't work if it didn't work uh, tell me what's wrong and I'll fix it and I'll make another video this is my last one this is actually kind of a stupid idea just it's good to uh, for if anyone plays paintball, any sort of outdoor activities, uh, whatever you want. Uh, I made this because I'm actually a big paintball fan. And what I did is I made this, the same thing as this one, the chimney, chimney smoke bomb. Just regular. And I did this one too, but what I did though, was of course I took my ping, I took my ping pong, I cut a hole at the top, took another one, cut it into little pieces, and threw that one inside of here. Then I then I did the whole little thing where you cut the ball into the, the aluminum, make the chimney, cut the tip off, make, leave a little bit of a hole. Then what I did, this is kind of the hard part, I took a long skewer stick. It's wooden, it's a wooden stick. You can use metal if you want to, uh, but I don't know, I decided to use one of these wooden ones. Now this is kind of the hard part of this whole thing. Uh, you have to poke a hole through the your ping pong ball with your wooden skewer or with your metal skewer too if you want the only problem is because the aluminum paper is kind of a delicate thing when I first tried it I, I wasn't wasn't really focusing the pressure straight down and it ended up sliding and I ended up ripping down my entire aluminum paper so I really do not want to do that what you want to do is really put your all your all your I already did a hole here so it's going to be easier but really just poke down a hole straight down and keep forcing it's going to be hard and hard or certain parts, it's going to just pop right through and it's going to stop because of all the little pieces inside. So it won't go all the way through, I'll make another hole. And then just put it to whatever height or length you want. I put it about midway. And by doing that, it holds it holds onto your stick. And uh, like I said, if you play paintball, if you ever you want, you can, uh, I don't know, just stick it into the earth and uh, the smoke can come out in a certain direction. I was thinking about it where you can put it into a tree upside down where the smoke is going to come out from the bottom. Uh, there's different ways. I just thought of it like as that, like that. So basically, just make your, just make a simple smoke bomb, and just stick a, a wooden stick in it. I thought it was a pretty good idea, and uh, it's gonna help me a lot when I go paintballing. All right, so if, uh, it's the end of my video. Uh, if you guys have any any suggestions of new types of designs of smoke bombs, uh, please comment on my video. Put your ideas on my comments. Uh, I'll uh, make a, a video with prawns, uh, whatever you want, just, guys. Yeah,